Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have the Bat Wings Headpiece skin. Uh, the brand new headpiece skin. It is a bit interesting, isn't it? I think it's, uh... I don't like it with the bald head, I don't think. But I think, especially if you have, like, Night Fury or anything, it could be a very cool skin, especially for Halloween, which it is the season for Halloween, so that is always good. And it is 400 gems, so it isn't too pricey. Always nice to have a random, uh, like a, a headpiece or a single uh, item skin rather than outfits and such. And it has been a while since we had a headpiece, so it's nice. Right, let's have a look at the dye channels. So it's a three dye channel. Here is the default dyes. We have blue shade, hot pink, and antique gold. It's not too bad. And then let's grab our Shadow Abyss. This is pure Shadow Abyss here. Let's go with this destroyer orange. So, the top layer is going to be the skin, effectively, of the, the wings. Brighter at the back, a bit paler, or not as a, not as strong a colour at the front. Bottom left is going to be the, the front layer of skin. Uh, near the character's face, that is. And a little bit, it's kind of the opposite of the top layer, fainter at the back. And then bottom right is the tips of the claws at the end of the wings, so I guess the talons. As you can see there, it's getting, Electro Blue might stand out a bit more there, yeah it does. So you can make some pretty cool uh, combinations with this. I mean, like, what's that look like with bloody red and maybe like bloodstone coral? Well, no, I want bloodstone coral there. There we go. Okay, that pink is too much. Magenta like enameled. Maybe that. No, it's still a bit much. I kind of want a very light flesh tone. So yeah, I'm looking for more, I guess, of a flesh tone. Maybe coral. Ah, it actually looks not bad. I think that's what they used originally in it. I think that's what they were using originally. Maybe Shadow Abyss suits better here. I don't know. I am looking forward to seeing people using this creatively. I think there will be quite a few people using them. It's a shame though that you can't use it with what's that outfit, that Halloween outfit that loads of people use. Ooh, I never remember what it's called. I don't think I have it. It would help if I had this on, wouldn't it? It's not that one. I do have it now. Not executioners. Ah, the noble, the noble count. I think it would work well with the noble count if we were allowed to use a headpiece with that. I think it's the noble count. I'm pretty sure it's noble count. Anyway, I'll be giving away uh, three of these bat wing headpieces. Uh, you can check that out in this week's giveaway. The link for that should be in the top right hand corner. Otherwise they're worth 400 gems and they are on the gem store for a limited time only. Though they will return, presumably, most Halloweens. Right, let's move on to the next race and look at this on all the different races. Here we go. Here we are on a human. Uh, uh, no, I want to look in at the hair, that's what I wanted to do. It's alright. I mean, I don't think this is going to be my favourite 
headpiece ever. I don't know if I'll use it outside of Halloween. Uh, maybe, but to be honest, I kind of doubt it. There we have it. Let's move on to our next race. Here we are on a Silvari, and actually, I don't think that sticks out as much. I don't know, maybe it's the the hair. I don't know. It's a bit more. Uh, it's not as like slicked back as the the human or bald as the Usura, as Quando was. It looks a bit better. I also think it's a little bit smaller. Maybe the the head size, probably. Depends on that sort of stuff. But here we are on Silvari. Very nice. That looks a bit better. Right, let's move on. Here we are on a char. Hmm, place just below the horns. I think my favorite's been so far has been the Silvari. So I do. Char, I yeah, I'm still kind of I'm on the fence about this one. I really am on the fence. But let's move on to our final race, the Norn. Here we are on a Norn, and I think this is slightly better again. It's I don't know. When the, they're not as big, I guess. Though I think I think it's not as good as Silvari was. And then again, I also think I don't really have any characters in Halloween gear, so I don't have very many. So it doesn't help. There we go. I guess you could argue it's part of the... the Headband, hairband thing. No, good that. Be nice if they flapped or something. It had a little bit of animation. Maybe. I don't think they do. For it like pulsated. Kind of like stretched every now and then. It'd be kind of cool. I think. But anyway. Let's head back to Quando and wrap up the video. Let's do it. Right, that is it for this week's demo, guys. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did and subscribe for more in the future. I'll be back later on the week with more videos, but until then, take care. You can join the Discord to stay to date with all things new on the channel, such as new videos, and when I go live, and a weekly screenshot challenge every Saturday in Guild Wars 2. But that is it for me for today. Until next time, take care.